Hello everybody, my name is Nathan from the Pix Factory, and welcome to the wonderful world of Robocraft. In this video, not in this game, in this video, we will be, sh I will be showing you guys, the viewers, how to successfully Triforce. Now, Triforcing is an advanced tactic. It is used to negate damage, especially against high-powerful single-shot charges like railguns. Um, yeah, that's what they're mainly used for, and they're an advanced tactic because they're most effective on bigger robots, and you don't really get bigger robots until late game where bots are more advanced and structurally and armored and all that stuff. Anyway, Triforcing is um, using the kinetic flow of damage in the game because, yes, the game does partially obey physics, and it takes advantage of that and directs the flow away from certain blocks and types while still maintaining a somewhat glitched structural integrity. So what we've got right here is a platform, all right? This platform uh, is very typical. Let me just raise it up here a bit. So if we were to shoot in the middle of here, the damage would pass all the way through. Boom, 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 boom. We get ourselves a crater like that, right? Well. Hmm, my down button's not working. Anyway, but if you were to get a, say, a uh, weave of triforcing now. I want you to pay attention because this is a uh, triforcing weave. This is what you do to build triforcing. So that was a typical block. That's uh, that's typical armor. That's basic armor. That's what normal people use. Low level players, noobs, if you will. Now this is triforcing. Triforcing is advanced because it's most effective on bigger bots, which are only found in the late game, but by more advanced players. Essentially, this isn't very effective when taking sideways damage, but when you observe from the bottom, it looks completely normal. And one of the bonuses of it is that you can build blocks on top of it, and since the game, like I said before, follows a kinetic damage flow, it kind of partially obeys physics. When you break the bottom part of it, you know, the damage is going to spread out like this, you know, it's going to spread out the power. But since there's technically no mass connecting this layer, top layer, with bottom layer, damage is going to be transferred. So it's acting sort of like a vulnerable, one-shottable shell that prevents single-shot large amounts of damage. Here is how you would go about building a uh, very simple triforcing weave, just start by doing every other with triangles facing the same direction, and then alternate them on the sides, like so, just this isn't rocket science, and then on the way back, just flip the direction of the triangles around. There you go, that's your triforcing weave. Because you can see the block faces are connecting them along this path, so if you shoot here, it'd go along like that. And then you know it works, and then it works kinetically on them this way and this way, but the damage doesn't actually penetrate deep layers. That's exactly how you build a single layer. Notice I said single layer, single layer triforcing. It gets even better with dual layer triforcing. Now what I'm about to show you guys right now is dual layer triforcing. Now it's essentially the same weave as I showed you before, except without triangles or angles. We're using slopes. Um, it works only only works with three wide, so you're doing the same normal thing except this time with slopes. You'll find out why a little bit later, because slopes are very 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 key. When you do it like this, this opens you up to some unique opportunities of lacing, weaving, if you will. So before we had a single layer, now we have a double layer, because the powers. Powers of the powers of Robocraft have bestowed upon the fact that you can lace these iron these uh, rods these rods in between these slopes and the slopes have a one by and the slopes are sorry for the camera there about the mouse the slopes act like before a one shotable shell and then these rods actually have a hitbox that takes up fully and then they have plenty of health too as normal cubes but they don't transfer transfer damage upwards so if you just have this weave like this 
of course, you're gonna build it. All right, of course, you're gonna build it upside down like this so it looks like a flat surface ish. Once you have it like that, that's how you're gonna build your dual layer weave because they're gonna take shots, they're gonna destroy this part of it, you know, and then they're gonna have to destroy this part of it before they can actually get to the inside. And the best part is that this only takes up one layer. Yes, it requires more parts, more money, and more CPU. But it's worth it at the end if you're building like a super heavily armored tank or whatever. Anyway, this has been Triforcing with Nathan. I really hope you learned something. If you uh, if you think I went over this too early, please yell at me in the comments. I'm very open to criticism. Like if you did understand what I'm talking about and would like more Robocraft tip videos. Also subscribe to be posted or to be notified when I post more stuff. Anyway, I've been Nathan from the Pix Factory. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.